So I own a singular polo and I was not going to make a video just for it. So it's going with the rest of my button ups. I'm keeping it. It says NASA. Um, I love it. Okay. The next several, the next five are essentially the same and I bought them at the same time. But when I washed them, they all like became a different size. So we're going to try them all on. I definitely went through a period of time in my teens where I wore short sleeve button ups like this constantly unbuttoned and they had pockets and I had just several that I wore and I wish I had actually let my parents take more pictures of me at that time because I don't have these pictures. Like if people didn't know I was gay, that was really on them, right? Is it now me? Because this is definitely like 17 year old me. But is it now me? Mm. I love this shirt. Like the whole collar, it's not really me, but I am a sucker for soft in many aspects of my life. It's the material for me. Um, mm, you'll like it. This is almost the exact same shirt and I want to keep it slightly more just because, you know, it's this dark gray, but yeah, it's, it's the same thing. I don't, the material is different and I don't like it. And this is the same material, but with the rainbow stripes, I want to keep it so much. Like they, they come pre well. This is a gay shirt. <sighs> oh man, I gotta keep this. Um, my parents went to Hawaii and they were buying us all Hawaiian shirts and I'm like, give me the blackest Hawaiian shirt you can find and <laughs> they got me this. I did do a Terry Pratchett Adams Family mashup ages ago. I made Two Flower Adams um, since Two Flower, you know, is a tourist and he wears his Hawaiian shirt. Um, but also the man just lives through everything and that just and he just goes through life as this like huge optimist who is like obscenely rich and like doesn't even notice and it's just everything about his character just screams adam's family he's got a trunk that eats people i feel like i might actually have to bring two flower back because he was unappreciated in his time. The only thing I think that could make this better is if it unbuttoned all the way, but halfway is fine. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not keeping this. The sleeves are like, this is like very teenage me. I feel like teenage me would have worn this all the time when I was doing backstage work at the theater. I'm not sure I'm gonna wear it as much as an adult who does not work backstage at a theater. I think I'm going to keep it because it feels fun. I'd like the arms to be a little bit longer, but um, what it lacks in arm length, it makes up for in how absurdly soft it is. A shirt can get away with a lot if it's soft enough. I don't know why I'm trying this one on because it's a mount. I have not worn it for longer than five minutes since I got it. Do not ask me why, but every single time I put it on, yep, there it is. Um, definitely keeping it because, um, yeah, love it. It's so soft and silky. Um, I will probably wear this till it falls apart. I bought this when I was out of town ages ago and I needed something fancy and the only store in town was Walmart. Um, it is not really my style, but I wear it when I'm being growly and that makes me want to keep it. I'm going to put it with my cosplay and reevaluate. So this is shiny, which really isn't me, and it needs ironed way more than I have patience for, but it's also soft, so I think we all know that means I have to keep it forever. Did I buy this for a costume? Yes. Did I then um, just move it straight into my everyday clothes and I wore it so much last summer? I wore it several times when I was going to be outside all day and I didn't want to get burnt. It is perfect. I wish I had three more just like it. I got this um, at a vintage shop that had a ton of 70s clothes. It's a little bit big on me, obviously. And 
As far as the best things about the shirt, other than it's amazing and it's vintage, I, I, I can do this. It's a really dumb reason to keep a shirt. Plain, white, button up, necessary, vital to any wardrobe keeping. Years ago, I went through Pinterest and was like, I'm going to dress this very specific way um, and have a capsule wardrobe. And this was one of the main pieces for the wardrobe and it is probably one of the last ones I have and I'm getting rid of it because I never wear it because I don't like it because that does not fit me aesthetically at all. The way that this shirt makes me feel each and every time I put it on, it's a definite keep. But also, I don't think you understand how incredibly soft it is. And if you haven't noticed by now, softness means everything to me. I might not finish what I'm doing because I'm just going to leave this shirt on for a while. This is another white shirt. It is a thicker white shirt. I bought this probably about 10 years ago for a job um, when I was actually skinnier than I am now because I had just left my shitty marriage um, and was very unhealthy. It still fits. It still works. This was my original Jack Harkness shirt. Um, I've since upgraded to this one. It's a little bit more comfortable, uh, which worked out really, really well when I went to Galaxy Con last December. It was super comfy, but um, I'm still keeping this one, so both. It's a great shirt. It doesn't need ironed. Like, everything in my closet needs ironed, because um, I hate ironing. This shirt does not need ironing, which gives it, like, three pluses in my book. It has very long sleeves. And this is great for a fall sports ball game. This is my last one, so, um, yeah, done.